The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on, guys? Clickwood here back again. And today, guys, I'm going to be showing you how there are bots on Madden 18 Ultimate Team in Mutt Squad specifically that are making thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands, possibly millions of coins per day here on the game. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how they're doing it. And I'm going to show you how to identify if you're playing against a bot in Mutt Squads. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys here is the opening of the game. You see there up in the top left, you've got myself, Ryan915, and our friend Nick, aka Madden12Mutt Team. Uh, here, we're going to be playing against a group of three random people that got matched up together, okay? Now, the bottom two guys are completely normal players. They're just average people that are going to potentially get matched up against you. And the top guy is the one specifically that we're going to be watching. So it's like, I don't even know what his username is. DD, I can't even read it because I have it pretty small on my screen right now. But basically, it looks like he smashed his hand on the keyboard a bunch of times. And just that was the end of his username on PlayStation, right? So basically, again, we're going to be watching for him specifically. Now, I want you to watch a couple of things here. First of all, I get that nice user pick, though. And the first thing that we're going to see here is this guy that threw the interception is going to rage quit. So he is the offensive player. He threw that pick on the first drive right to me. And where's the rage quit? And there it is. Okay. So now that top guy is going to take over on offense the next time that they are on offense. Now, defensively... Things are going to look pretty normal. So you're going to see both of them have users. They're both going to pretty much move around for the most part. The one guy is moving a little bit more. I think the other guy got lined up on the defensive line. Look at those disgusting moves that I put on. I'm the GOAT. No, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. That was really bad users by that guy. But we're going to score a touchdown. Now, they are on offense. Now, the quarterback is the guy who is a bot, okay? And I know for a fact that this guy is a bot, okay? So one thing that I'm going to do is you're going to see me just follow one of their players. And actually, all of us know that where the ball is going here. We're all just messing around, waiting for it, waiting for it, waiting for it. And we know the pass is coming right about here. I didn't even move. Got the interception. That's Sean Taylor, by the way, Mutt Master Sean Taylor. So let's go back and take a look at this again in slow motion. So before the ball is hiked, I know for a fact that this is going to X. And the reason for it is because these bots only press the X button. Like, that's literally the only thing that they press the entire time, okay? So when they're going to throw the ball, it's going to be to X every single time. And the reason that I know this is because we've seen this happen time and time again. It's not just this one guy's username, but they always have a very similar username to this. It's always just literally looks like somebody smashed their hand on a keyboard and put a bunch of random characters, and that's the username that they have. And every single time what they do is when they get on offense, they will hike the ball, and they'll stand there and wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. Look, we're rushing no one because we know the pass is coming. These guys are just messing around right now. And we're just trying to get user picks with Sean Taylor. So there it is. You know, we're getting the user pick there. And it's an easy, easy read every single time because we know exactly where the ball is going. So basically what our analysis is here is that these guys are simply setting up bots that press the X button like once every five to eight seconds or so. And... That's it. That's all they have to do. Now, you're probably wondering, how would they make any coins from that? Why, like, why would they do that? Well, the thing is, with Mutt Squads, is you don't take up any contracts. It takes up no tickets. It takes up nothing to actually get into it. And so by actually just playing the game, they're going to get coins every single time. At minimum, if they lose and they stay in the game the whole time, they're going to get 100 coins and I think like a 25 contract pack or something like that. But if they win or somehow, let's say disconnect against you they force a disconnect i should say which uh, obviously i don't think they're ip booting or anything like that but if you happen to randomly disconnect as i actually did in this game as you see right there connection to your peer has been lost if all three of us were to disconnect which we actually didn't but hypothetically if that were to happen or let's say if the other person on their team or the other two players on their team were actually good and they were playing against some bums 
it's possible that they could get rage quits. It's possible they could win the game even with their user only pressing the X button, especially if they're a coach. If they get set up as a coach, then they don't have to do anything. They pick no plays on offense, no plays on defense. They just stand there. And on defense, their computer is pretty much going to do everything for them. On offense, their computer is just going to either have them stand there if they're a wide receiver or if they're a running back, if they get lined up at that, then it'll automatically run the ball for them. So it's really, really simple, actually, the way for them to make coins. And, and like I said, if they do get the win, they get like 800 coins and they get the token. So, I mean, there's definitely a possibility that they could get a ton of coins over the course of a day because these things, these bots are running all day. It seems to me like we match up with them in the middle of the night a lot, but I think that's actually just because the player populace is not very high in the middle of the night, at least on PlayStation. So I, I don't know if this is a thing on Xbox even, to be honest with you. It might just be something where it's running through a computer on PlayStation. They've somehow set it up where they don't need to have a human do anything other than just like every once in a while make sure that it's still working. I, I think that's what's happening. And honestly, if you think about it, if you even if they're only getting a hundred coins like every half hour or so, which is you know roughly how long it would take, I mean over the course of a day, I mean that's not that bad. They're basically making two coin two hundred coins at minimum per hour, so they'd be making about five thousand coins per day per account that they're on, and that's bare minimum. Like I said, that's if there's no disconnects on the other side. That's if they don't somehow win the games on their own. And literally all they have to do is just get on here with the PlayStation and just set it to do nothing but press the X button every five to eight seconds. And it's just a guaranteed farm. Now think about if you had 50 of these things set up, which I'm, I'm pretty sure that they might have 50 or even potentially more based on what we've seen, because there are a lot of these usernames that are doing this. So think about that. If you have just 50 of them times 5,000, that's 250,000 coins per day that they're doing this with. That's a hell of a lot of coins, man, especially right now in the game when you're getting, you know, a, a quite a bit of money for just, you know, coins. So just think about that, guys. I mean, these bots are seriously everywhere right now. I can't believe that EA hasn't somehow figured this out. I mean, literally, it's like every game that we run into in the middle of the night, it seems like there's a bot associated with it. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that. I thought it was kind of funny. It's not like we're farming or anything like that. We're literally just trying to match up against people and play. If you look at our records, I mean, we're playing full games against people and everything like that, and we're playing for fun. But it just so happens that we figured this out the other night that these guys are what we're calling like X-Bots, I guess. Not Xbox, X-Bots. And uh, yeah, they're just going to press X every five to eight seconds and collect their coins every once in a while. So I hope EA somehow patches this or like looks at the accounts and sees that the only button that they're pressing is X. I don't know if they can do that, but or maybe they can look at their stats and be like, well, they take like 50 sacks a game when they're quarterback and they never even throw the ball or when they do throw the ball, it's only to X. I like I don't know. Uh, but I, I really don't have an answer for this other than for them to go through and look at the stats and compare them to like usernames that look like somebody's mashing their hand on a keyboard because that seems to be the consistent. Every time that we see that, that's what's happening. So anyway, guys, you should let me know in the comment section below if you guys have run into this before either because um, I'm kind of interested to know if it's happening to other people or if somehow I, it's just happening to us in the middle of the night, which is a possibility, I suppose. I don't know. But again, let me know in the comment section below. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.